Hi, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today and for joining us for this whole week, the Guard Symposium for 2023. My name is Chelsea Boodoo, and really quickly, I would like to show a video to acknowledge our sponsors. Say thank you. All right, I will be handing this over to Carl Silva from MSU Biosystems and Agricultural Engineering and from the Nano Biosensors Laboratory. Thank you. Thank you, Chelsea. And welcome again. Good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you are. Welcome to the closing ceremony of the 2023 Guard Forum. We will have Dr. Marks, Bradley Marks, as our guest speaker. He is the department chair in the Biosystems and Agricultural Engineering Department at Michigan State University. He is a, um, the lead and he leads an interdisciplinary research team focused on food safety engineering, particularly microbial inactivation modeling and improving methods for validating pathogen control processes for ready to eat Foods. He is a prolific writer, a great uh, scientist, bringing in millions of dollars to the research portfolio of Michigan State University. He has received numerous, numerous teaching awards at the department, university, and national level. He also served as the undergraduate program coordinator before becoming the department chair. With mouth, with, without much ado, I will give the floor and welcome Dr. Bradley Marks. Let's give him a warm welcome of applause. Thank you, Vanjie. Appreciate it very much. Well, I've, I'm given sort of the humbling task of wrapping up this uh, really amazing forum. Um, first of all, with, there'll be a lot of thank yous before I get done with this, but one is I just want to comment, Van, you made the point that I work in the area of food safety, but primarily on the uh, pathogen control side. And, I, and I'm not a diagnostics person, but what I know enough about it is that so often the challenges um, in solving the problems in the space that I'm in even boils down to how do we effectively find and locate the problems, the pathogens, the bad actors. And in fact, just translating, just, just doing the research isn't sufficient. The translation of that to practice that has in consideration cost, relevance, equitable accessibility of the technologies are really the key challenges. And whether that's in food or health, any of the areas that are represented with the guard, that becomes the challenge. And that's really, for me, the most admirable part about guard and all of the parties involved is that emphasis on equitable accessibility of technologies, relevance of the technologies, um, the capabilities of those technologies to be um, deployed in the real world, in the market, and not just in the lab. And that's really, when you look through the program, what's happened over the last five or six plus days, um, that theme ran through what I saw in short courses and um, networking and in the, in the um, keynote talks, et cetera. Um, some of the highlights from this week, uh, first of all, first, the, the fact that the Guard runs this round the clock and round the globe format continues to just um, blow my mind, to be honest with you. The innovation in this type of um, format, the engagement of uh, collaborators from around the globe, from six continents, set over 700 registered participants, um, con multi-continent collaborations, the Africa-Asia session being attended by participants from both conference uh, continents across a really wide time zones. I know that means that over the course of this week, there were people working well outside of their normal working hours, whatever that means, in the name of collaboration, right, of trying to solve these kinds of problems, working together and being innovative. There were over 40 teams in the Innovation Challenge with six finalists and three winners. Um, again, the, the active participation. This was not a passive um, process. Um, I, I applaud the, the inclusion this year of a focus on women in STEM um, within GARD and experiences, the exchange with the Borlaug Scientific Fellows and Roundtables, discussions about transdisciplinary emerging diseases as being extremely important um, areas. 
um, two full days of short courses with some really exciting topics, networking, um, ongoing collaborations. In particular, this is what I observed this week looking at and, 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 and sitting in on a couple of the talks. The emphasis beyond pure science, we all go to conferences, we all go to our own particular niche scientific conferences, where we tend to have a focus the technical development, which we must do, which we must have, which is critically important. But within this form and guard, the fact that this is emphasizing going beyond the scientific technical detail and looking at short courses on entrepreneurship, thank you, Devangie, um, talks on scientific communications and efficacy of communicating sparse data, um, emphasis on policy briefs. How do you translate what's going on in science to policy briefs? Uh, several of our colleagues from the University of Michigan gave a talk in that area. So this emphasis of getting to the market, to practical solutions, to one of the keynote addresses um, talking about in really resource limited environments and engaging with the people that are in the place our technology is hoping to change is really the only way the technology becomes relevant and actually will work at that level of engagement. And seeing that thread of themes running through all of the programming of Guard is um, really exciting and admirable. And I hope really in the end, most importantly with this vision is effective and impactful. The collaborations that are, have been built here and continue to develop from the, from the Guard community become deployable solutions that have the impacts that are desired from, I know all of the people that are involved in these programs. So to that, I give a, a, an enormous, again, kind of appreciation, but as much admiration of what's unique about what's going on within the Guard community and the impact that it will have. I do want to share a couple, if I can do this, I think it'll work with the share screen. Um, a few shouts out, if that's the right uh, terminology. Um, the leaderboard within the, the um, all the form uh, forum. Uh, there were ways to track engagement and these three folks at the top on the leaderboard. Um, they must have never slept, uh, honestly, over the past seven days to have accumulated that degree of engagement. And so an applause to them and an appreciation to all the people that were fully engaged. In addition, representing, I think here, Philippines and Sri Lanka, both as really important um, partners in all of the programming. And then the other is just uh, to lay down the appreciation for all the people that are involved in making this happen. And this is only a few of the small group because every symposium, every um, uh, discussion roundtable, every short course had a team of people behind it to make it happen. But appreciations to Chelsea and Harmit and the folks listed here that that made the innovation challenge happen. Um, the regional coordinators from each of the regions that, that brought folks together around the virtual table to make it possible. Thank you to all of you for doing that. Um, to the graphics team, the sponsors, Chelsea played that. And then for me, I think I will give a collective guard community, but a personal brag thank you to Vanjie for really the vision, right, to make this possible. This was, when she first suggested this idea two years ago, I think I've probably uh, told many people, I told her I was pretty sure she was crazy um, to even think about doing something of this scope with this kind of innovative format um, around the globe and around the clock that she must be nuts. And, but I said, but I, I'm, I'm behind you hundred um, percent. Let's see what you can do. And it's gone well beyond anything I would have dreamed it possibly could have become in terms of the degree of engagement. And for that, I just um, want to say on behalf of all of the folks involved, thank you, Angie, for that leadership. It's greatly appreciated. Um, lastly, I would say uh, the all of the people that gave talks that just talked with one another that sat around the virtual table um, and engaged and found a new potential partner. That's that's what this is meant to be. And if that happened, then this truly was a success. And most importantly, the planning for Guard Form 2024 is already underway. So I strongly encourage you to keep an eye out for all of that information and would look forward to having everyone back next year in Guard 2024. So this, uh, I believe my task was to officially conclude the program. We thank you all for your participation. I wish you all the best wishes, um, good health, and a prosperous remainder of year as we all go back to do the work that we have been called upon to do in our various fields. So Vanjie, it's back to you and thank you. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Marstein, for your kind words and thank you for everyone. I could not have done this. We could not do, do this without the people behind Chelsea especially and the various teams, the innovation planning team and everybody. So I want to express that uh, I'm humbled to be working with these wonderful people 
Uh, they are so, they have servant attitudes, servant hearts. And all they want to do is just make the world a better place for everybody. Um, I would like to acknowledge Monir Adnani. He missed the announcement. He is the first place winner of the Innovation Challenge. So congratulations, Innovation Monir. <clears throat> so and congratulations. Monir. Thank you so much. Monir. Thank you so much. And I'm very sorry. Monir. Yeah, sorry to miss that. And actually, I would thank you so much for, for this or this event. Actually, it's a great opportunity to share knowledge and experience with others. And it's a great opportunity to learn from the others. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. All right. So we will mail you the, the certificate and you got 500 US dollars. So we'll try to see how we can send that to you. And uh, Monir Adnani here is from Algeria. So thank you and keep in touch. And we have another 2024 Guard Forum Innovation Challenge. So convince your colleagues to participate and compete. All right. So with that, uh, Dr. Marx has closed the event and I want to declare this the event closed formally, the 2023 Guard Forum. And we prepare for the 2024 Guard Forum. So look up for your emails. Chelsea will send that email. And anyone who wants to join Guard, it's a free organization. Let us know. We will be glad to chat with you, collaborate with you, and we'll move forward together to make the world a better place for all of us. All right. With that, thank you so much. And Dr. Marks, thank you once again.